Armor Princess line on the front body and patch pockets, pocket flaps, and facings. Hi, I'm Jin. Welcome to Pattern Studio 101. This channel is all about pattern making. We are making long line jacket patterns for women. We started with drawing a base frame and we drafted the back in episode 86. And last week in episode 87, we made the front body, shoulder, armhole, button closer, pick lapel and collar. If you haven't watched them yet, make sure you watch those videos first and come back to this video. I dropped a armor princess seam on the front body and we're gonna make patch pocket, pocket flaps and facings. Let's begin. Here we are. The pink one is the center back. I just found that I didn't curve the center back seam, but that's okay. I was going to make the center back seam folded, but I found there is a center back seam on the elast. So you have three options. You can make the center back folded without a seam, or you can make a seam on the center back with this pattern, a straight seam. The last option would be to make the seam curved. Watch one of my videos, episode 75. I drafted a men's blazer and I explained it how to curve the center back seam. I'm gonna leave it as a straight line for this jacket. Okay, next. The sky blue is the side back panel. And the green one, we drafted the front with a picked lapel. Let's make a princess seam. On the waist, find a midpoint and draw a guideline. Reminder, it's your design line. Take out half of an inch on each side. I'm going to draw straight lines about three quarters of an inch in length. Remember we did the same on the back, but it was under the waist. Now for the front, I have the widest part of the dart above the waist. Look at this side view. To make the princess seem more fit on the body shape, I would like to have the widest part of the dart right under the bust and just above the buttocks. It's really small details, but as you make more patterns as a job, you notice these kind of small details make a difference in the garment. Okay, decide where your princess seam starts at the armhole. Draw a line. This is going to be the seam for the center front panel. For the side front panel, take out three quarters of an inch to around one inch at the armhole. Then draw a curve. See the line I drew? Take out gaping at the armhole. I make a full chest right under the underarm line. And take out the full amount of dart at the waist. Add 3 eighths of an inch on each side at the hip level. And half of an inch on each side at the hem. Complete the princess line. This is the princess line for the center front panel and this is the princess seam for the front side panel. Let's see without base frame. Make notches at the waist and hip, not only on the princess line but on the side seam as well. And on the front princess seam, let's make notches 7 inches from the waist notch both panels. Because these two curves are different shapes, you want to measure along the curve. Then walk two pieces from that notch and revise the armhole curve. So once you stitch up, the armhole is nice and smooth. 
And also check the side seam. You don't want to have a V-shape or pointed. Let's make a patch pocket. This jacket has pretty big pockets. From the waist, go down 6 inches and a half. From the center front, mark 4 inches. The example of the pocket width is 8 inches and the length is 9 inches. So this is the pocket. For the flap, go up half of an inch and one quarter of an inch wider than the pocket on each side. The height is two inch and a half. Align the princess seam where the pocket will be so you can make drill holes on the side panel. I make drill holes quarter of an inch below the finish line and quarter of an inch inside of the pocket width and flap width. Button placement. We have a three quarters of an inch extension at the center front, right? The first button will be on the break point. And for the last button, I would make it seven inches up from the hem. Then divide equally for four buttons. Mark two inches on the shoulder and three inches and a half from the center front. This line is for the facing. Take out one eighth of an inch at the center front and add one eighth of an inch at the lapel. So this brown is the front facing. For the back neck facing, the same, two inches on the shoulder and three inches at the center back. Curve nicely and take out one eighth of an inch at the shoulder. Mirror the center back. This is your back neck facing. Here are the body patterns we drafted. We're going to make sleeve patterns next time. And I'm going to show you sleeve pattern making from the bicep. If you have a good reference sample, you can measure the bicep and apply to this jacket. So you don't have to calculate sleeve cap height. I know it's a headache. Check out my website patternstudio101.com. You will find some useful resources there. And join the Facebook group Pattern Making Professionals. Links are in the description box. This channel is totally dedicated for young professionals to take their pattern making skills to the next level. Please click the like button and hit the bell so you don't miss new lessons. Have a beautiful week. See you next time.